Fermentation is the chemical transformation of organic substances into simplex compounds by the action of enzymes produced by microorganisms like yeast, fungi, or bacteria. Although specific fermentation procedures adopted by manufacturers vary to a certain degree, there remain only two principal methods of cultivation known as submerged fermentation and solid state fermentation. Both the processes are used for the commercial production of enzymes. Let's know about differences between SSA and SMA processes. In case of SMA process, the substrate is made soluble or suspended as fine particles in a large volume of water. That is, in the in, in SMA process, liquid media is produced. Whereas in case of SSA process, it is performed on a non-soluble material that acts both as physical support and source of nutrient in the absence of free-flowing liquid. In case of SMA, substrates are used like soluble sugars, molasses, liquid media, fruit and vegetable juices, sewage, wastewater, synthetic media, etc. But in case of uh, SSA, solid substrates are used like wheat and rice bran, wheat uh, and a rice straw. That means mainly, uh, mostly different agro residues are used. Cassava, barley, oil cakes, sawdust, bagasse, paper pearl, fruit and vegetable waste, coconut quad, etc. Products are secreted directly into the production broth in case of SMA process. Additional solvent is not required to extract the product. Whereas in case of SSA, the microorganisms involved synthesize enzymes that degrade the polymeric substances into smaller and more easily digestible compounds. Extracellular enzymes and other products are secreted into the solid fermented substrate. Products are extracted by adding solvent in the fermented solid substrate or water can be added in the fermented solid substrate to, uh, substrate to extract the enzyme. In case of SMA, it is suitable for microorganisms like bacteria which need more moisture content for their growth. Whereas, if you consider about the SSA, filamentous fungi are commonly used due to their relatively high tolerance to low water activities and osmotic pressure conditions. They are high potential to secrete hydrodietic enzymes and their morphology. In case of SMA, it is more suitable for the extraction of secondary metabolites which are required in liquid state. Whereas if you consider about the SSA, various bioactive compounds are produced which are used in food, pharmaceutical, cosmetic, fuel and textile industries. There are several advantages in uh, both the cases that means in SMA as well as in SSA processes. If you consider about the advantages of SMA, those are easy medium sterilization and uh, in product purification, easy to control the process parameters like medium pH, temperature, moisture, oxygen transfer or aeration, agitation. SMA is most suitable method for the use of genetically modified organisms. Fermentation may be carried out as batch and continuous mode in SMA and in this process lesser space requirement is there. Whereas if you consider about the different advantages of SSA, those are simple and cost effective less water demand is there high concentration uh, high concentration product can be recovered from the from a, uh, ssa process nutrient rich solid materials can be recycled because most of the cases waste products are utilized for the fermentation process uh, that means mainly agro residues are utilized those are very cost effective and those can be recycled this process resembles natural habitats of fungi and bacteria that means it mimics the natural environment of the microorganisms less release of effluent so it reduces pollution lower sterility demand lower catabolite depression lower energy demand for heating mixed culture possible for synergism of metabolic performance in case of ssa process so, in last few decades, various types of SSA products, including food and 
food ingredients, agro-industrial products, pharmaceutical products and many more have been documented. If you consider about the alpha amylase production, both the processes are fruitful in uh, industrial scale. So you can observe a lot of experiments on alpha amylase production in both the cases in SMF as well as in SSF processes.